I was really grateful to have found a, a contact who um, allowed me to make contact with Wooden Spoon, the charity, and um, funding eventuated and then we were lucky enough to meet um, James and his team at Fusion just to see different different groups in the community coming together to do a project like this is, is also just as important as the outcome itself and what we can do with it. We really, uh, recommend or we only suggest that you wear hard hats if someone is actually working above you. So with the ladders what we require is two people holding the ladder, one on the top, one on the bottom. This is your day. Uh, as well as, as, as anybody else's. So we want you to enjoy it. We want you to get as much out of it as possible. If you split down to teams of six, as quick as you can. Who, who, are, the, who are the captains? One. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Here we go. My name is Miles Hayward, and I'm here at the Kobe Kazool Primary School with the Wooden Spoon and Fusion. And we're attempting today to try and build some playground area, some planting area for the young people of this school. Um, we're in a great area, but a very disadvantaged area, and we're hoping to make a small difference to these young people in this school, so they've got somewhere great to play. We've got a fantastic team behind us, uh, people from all over the place, all over the country, just here, getting hands-on and, uh, and building this great playground. 410, do you want to write down on something? It's wood. So two panels, 410. One of these, but yeah. it's probably best to stick to, to stick the plan. To the plan. All right. <laughs> We've got enough time to build another one. Done. Yeah. Perfect. Scotty, John's going to do the Maya saw, mate. I haven't done anything like this before, but through the wooden spoon, I've been fortunate to attend various, whether it be uh, events and charity events, and culminating in this, it might be my first uh, charity build. And that will give us the, the framework to attach and hang the vertical bits on. Yeah. As national rugby manager, my work tends to be uh, around rugby and, and quite a lot of the time sitting in front of a computer. But uh, today it's nice to get my hands dirty. Although, I'm not getting my hands dirty because I've got gloves. I uh, recently got involved with uh, Wooden Spoon through because uh, I'd signed up for the Everest Challenge. Um, I've realised what a fantastic charity it is and all the hard work that they do. So today was an opportunity to come down and help and be involved with uh, this community project and to hopefully meet some of my team members that I'm going to be going up Everest with. So who's been in today's build? Carl. Robin. Matt. Dave. Victor. Matt. Lucy. Sam. Patrick. Alex. Rob. James. Jude. And Miles. Jess. John. Yeah, um, I got involved with Wooden Spoon. I've been ambassador for about eight years and just fell in love with their message and what they were doing for kids. And I know one of the founders, so I've got more and more involved over the years. And uh, But I've never quite been hands-on. So um, I'm rolling up my sleeves today and, and um, actually seeing Wooden Spoon in action and where the money goes. Um, a, little, a little haste please, gentlemen. Back to your tasks now. What a day, absolutely amazing from start to finish. These guys at Wooden Spoon, you can tell the rugby players could got straight in there as a team, working together. They knew they had a mission to achieve, they had something to accomplish at the end. They don't all know each other, which you'd think they did. They don't all know each other, they've come straight in and they've bonded. What an absolutely amazing team effort. I've loved every minute of working with these guys. I love my rugby, they love the rugby. I love my teamwork, they love the teamwork, and you can tell. We've achieved our aim, massive success and it's great for this school. The school are going to be absolutely buzzing off this one. I can't, I can't wait to see the head teacher's face. Jess and I came up with a little on the hoof interior design option. So we're building a seated bench for all the kids, tucking it nicely into this space with 
storage, box storage underneath. <laughs> Breakfast club are going to come in in the morning and just be blown away. You know, I've never seen such professional looking <laughs> work from people who actually have other jobs. Guys, 20 minutes and then we'll hand over 20 more minutes. Massive congratulations guys, it is a tough ask to get the uh, the build done in the time we've been allocated and to be honest it's ten times better than I thought it would be, it looks the business. And thank you for giving up your time, these people all have other jobs to go to as well but they've given the time up for us today. And then just on behalf of Wooden Spoon, you know the reason we do this today is for you. We work hard today because we know how hard you work at school and so this is especially for you, young people, yeah? We want you to enjoy it and love it, have great fun with it. We all know school budgets are tight and we couldn't have afforded this as a school on our own and it was the funding as well as giving up your time that made it all happen and so to Wooden Spoon I really can't thank them enough as well.